Okay, so as promised, I'm going to show you guys how to do this in your calculator, the problems that we just did. So we're going to pull up our calculator here. And we're going to do the 99% confidence interval first. So you're going to hit this button here. This is stat. And you're going to go over to tests. So scroll over to test. And you're not doing a Z test, you're doing a Z interval, okay, because we're doing a confidence interval. So you're going to hit enter on Z interval. You want to make sure stats is highlighted, okay, because you're given stats here. If you had data, um, we're looking into frequency lists. So we want stats highlighted. So scroll over there, hit enter. You're going to enter your standard deviation. That's your population standard deviation. So that's 15.7 given in the problem. Your X bar is 145.15. And then N is our sample size, and that is 28. And then scroll down, you want your confidence level. So our confidence level is 99, so you're going to go 0 0.99. And then you're going to hit calculate. And look at that. It is done for us, and that's the same values that we got uh, doing this by hand. So let's take a look at B and C as well. Everything here is the same except we're changing the confidence interval. So if I go to stat test, go to my Z interval here, everything stays the same. I just change the C level now to 0.97. Hit calculate, I get 138.71, 151.59. And then I'll do this one more time with a 95% confidence level. And we get 139.33, 150.97. So super easy to do in our calculators. Definitely use that to check your work.